Good day, designers. It is Saphiria Lovery with Saphiria's by Design. Today I'm going to be making a coffee gift basket for a Christmas gift for one of my good friends. She loves all things coffee. And so I decided to pick up a variety of different coffee products for her to enjoy and to try. And I also wanted to incorporate some things that would go along very well with coffee, such as cookies and candles. So since coffee is a rich brown color, I did want to work with those colors rather than against them. And since we're doing this as a Christmas basket, also wanted to incorporate the red color. So basically, I tried to keep the colors pretty much in the red and brown family. Didn't want to overdo it too much as far as it's screaming Christmas, but definitely wanted to use the Christmas colors. So if you'd like to see how this basket turns out, then please keep on watching. So after you pick your overall theme and your color scheme for your basket, you do want to have your inspiration in mind. And the inspiration for this basket came from this container of Dollar Tree Sugar Coffee Body Scrub. It smells amazing. This is, how, this is how it looks and it smells just like coffee. So this was the inspiration behind the basket. As soon as I smelled it, I immediately thought of making a coffee gift basket for my friend. So you can very well start with one piece of inspiration or product for your basket and then keep building on it. So that is exactly what I did. I kept building upon my product collection for months until I was ready to assemble my basket. So for instance, this Werther's Original Popcorn in the caramel flavor, it was on sale at the grocery store for $3.99, so I picked it up. Lots of times these Renews It air fresheners go on sale. I picked this one up because of the colors that it has and also the smell is reminiscent of coffee. I found that Javalia coffee on sale at the grocery store as well. The Lorna Dune cookies were on sale at Walgreens. The Nutella was on sale for $3.99 and I had a coupon for 75 cents off, so I used that. These Hills Brothers Frappes mixes, they were on sale as well for $1.25 each. I picked up two of the Dollar Tree coasters in a brown color. So I mentioned all of that to say you don't necessarily have to break the bank when you're trying to create your gift baskets. You don't have to purchase everything all at once, all at Christmas time, and then make the basket that way. It's a little bit more pricier to do it all at once when you can just make a small little collection throughout the year or throughout several months. So the carry-all for this lovely gift is going to be this basket that I found at the thrift store for around $2. I like that it's tall and I like that it's rather deep. And to go inside of the basket, I just have this little frill, large, wide type ribbon piece that I'm going to stuff down in there. And I do want some of it to peep out of the basket, not too much. And then I want to just stuff the pieces that are unraveling down further into the basket so those don't show. I have a feeling that this basket is going to be rather full, possibly even overstuffed, but I'm going to put the larger items and the taller items, heavier items in the back of the basket. So I did put the Werther's popcorn in first since it is a taller item. The Javalia coffee. I put in a rather large container of the Hills Brother Cappuccino mix down at the bottom since it is heavier. So y'all, this is a look at what is in the basket already and I really can't get anything else down in there. So I am going to have to improvise with another brown basket. Just gonna put some finishing pieces on this basket. I'm gonna take a little packing tape and attach it to the back of my coaster so that my coaster can sit upright in the basket. Then I'm just going to take my flower piece here and I'm going to take off the green. I really don't want the green color to be showing. So I have my flowers here with the green leaves taken off and I'm just going to fill in the basket where there's some empty spaces. I think I'm going to take a glittery pine cone and try to add it into the basket 
as well. Okay, y'all, so my basket is pretty much full and complete. I just want to fill in some of the extra spaces that I'm seeing along the way. So I'm just gonna add a few little picks inside of the basket so that I can get ready to wrap it up. I think I'm gonna add one of these cute little glittery stickers on top of the candle here. I really do feel like it's the little small details that brings the entire thing together. So the ribbon that I'm going to use has a little twist tie mechanism on the back. So I'm going to take it and secure the cellophane. And if your basket ever suffers from ball patches or gaps, you can just take some clear packing tape and just secure the rest of the plastic where there's a gaping hole. And it blends right in. So y'all, I have plenty of items remaining so that I can make a second basket. So I'm going to take a little brown Dollar Tree plastic basket and start making it. So I started with a little piece of red and white frill down in the bottom of the basket. And I'm just gonna use the same principles as before and putting the taller items in the back of the basket. So this basket is completely stuffed as well. There's very little room to put much else in here, but I'm gonna add a few little touches. Decided to add a little Merry Christmas ornament to the front of the basket, and I secured it with a piece of packing tape, and the string is there too. The little cone air freshener has a little hole down in the bottom, so I'm gonna put a little Christmas bulb down in there. I'm going to take some Christmas picks and just put them down in to try to hide some of the not-so-pretty product packaging. Next, I'm going to take a little piece of red frill and kind of just fill in some of the gaps in the basket. I'm going to take a little red reindeer and put him on top of this coffee canister. A little sticker. So this is a look at my basket before I take some cellophane and wrap it up. So since I am fresh out of clear cellophane wrap, I'm going to have to go with this green cellophane wrap that I got from Michaels. I got the clear cellophane wrap from the Dollar Tree, and they don't give you very much on the roll, so I had to go with what I had left over. Okay, trial and error, you all. That green cellophane is way too dark for this basket. You can't see anything inside of it. Um, so I decided not to wrap the basket with it and just kind of place it behind as a filler and a little bit more decoration. And for a finishing touch, I just decided to wrap some red beads around this bottle of coffee since it's right there in the front. And the last step is to add the name tag. This was truly a labor of love, but I'm so glad I was able to do this for my friend. Friends stick closer than a brother, and I'm very grateful for her being in my life. And this is one token of appreciation that I want to share with her this year. I want to thank you all so much for watching my Christmas coffee basket video. Please stay tuned for more content.